Good morning, guys. Um, it's Wednesday. And I don't even know what Wednesday is anymore. But it's it's a day in the week, and it's like the middle of a work week. And nice to see you again. Today, what I want to talk about is just simply asking people and reminding people to be nice. If you've ever driven around the Santon area, you might have noticed those billboards that used to say, be kind. And for me, those are the most beautiful billboards I've ever seen. I've honestly never seen anything more beautiful. It had no branding on, they were just big white billboards with black text that said, be kind. And they had other ones, call your mom, things like that. And I mean, I just think it's pure magic. Whoever did it, whatever campaign it was, I'll be honest, I, I, I'm kind of the sappy guy who wants to believe that hopefully there was some trust fund baby who got his inheritance and decided to just bring a little, like a little bit of joy. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's amazing. Uh, I think it's pretty epic. I've read a couple of things today and I just thought I'm gonna put this post out. I actually wasn't even gonna make a video today, but I thought I'm gonna just do this quick. And it's just to appeal to everybody to please just really be nice to one, one another. Just be kind. I have two stories which have inspired me today. One was by Bradley Frost, that amazing dude who has created Atomic Design, which most of us designers are leveraging these days in order to build a systematic approach to the work we do. And he was discussing how he is going to stop sales of his printed book. And you know, in that he was kind of expressing how it's a lot of work, it's a hell of a lot of work. And sure, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's making money, but I know, firstly, you can go to his website and read the entire book on his website. Secondly, you can get his book as an ebook, which will continue to be on sale, but he's just not going to do another print run. So the books will run out soon, and then he's calling it quits. The reason why I'm really impressed with what Bradley's saying is that he mentions how high rates people are getting with him when they're not getting their books and he said the problem is that he didn't realize how bad the postal service is in different countries around the world so i can just imagine the emails that have gone to him and people ranting and carrying on and and you know where's my package and the whole thing and it's like it's so unnecessary yet i think we're all guilty of doing it he mentions in there is that you know people rant at him and then he goes and replies to them and then their whole tune changes because they suddenly go like hey brad wow i didn't know that you would be replying to me and that just shows you that if you if you knew who you were talking to on the other end of the phone you'd be a little nicer the next example that i have of just somebody being nice is a friend of mine and i'm not going to say her name because i don't want everyone to kind of hassle her but the way she handled what is happening to her was quite elegant. So people have been hitting her up on LinkedIn and places like that, asking her to help her, you know, help them get a job, um, asking her to recommend them, and you know, LinkedIn has made these tools to do that, and I've used them too. And people have asked me for recommendations, and I try and help people as much as I can, but. Honestly, it can be overwhelming and you can just imagine every person under the sun when they realize where she works and what her position is, is trying to hit her up. And I would imagine it's the same thing that celebrities must get once they make it and they have to do, you know, everybody's asking them for help all the time. So she very politely went and she said, look, I would love to help you all and but it's getting overwhelming and so the best thing i can do is to just point you that here's the career page for our local office and you can also then search for any office around the world and 
if you use a new feature on Google, you can actually search for, for jobs. And I think that's about as elegant a way as anybody can be. And it's a great reflection on who she is. And it should be a great reflection on you when you realize that there's a person on the other end of the phone and at them or at the other end of you know the social media platform and they're just trying to live their life and do their job and they've worked hard to be where they are and be in the position they're in and yeah you, know, you might go you're a call center agent well you know well you're not too big to be nice to anybody so just really think about that think about the way you talk to to people the way you complain i think just Try and be gentle, try and be respectful, and just talk to them rather than shout at them and demand of them and carry on. Have a great day. I hope the rest of this week is pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.